Blender is getting lots of exciting capabilities lately. None more exciting than the photorealistic PBR real-time renderer. Mm. At least that's what got me on board. This video is created to help you ease the transition from 3D Studio Max to Blender. I might start an entire series on it, so subscribe if you want to keep up. And if you're willing, be my Patreon. Let's go! Once installed, you will get this. Set interaction to 3D Studio Max. Click File, User Preferences. You will now see this. Check two checkboxes and unselect one. Click on the Editing tab. Max out the number of undos. I have never heard anyone complain about having too many undos. Do you remember the last time where you click undo and undo and you need just that one last undo but it's not possible? Let's avoid that, shall we? Click on the Input tab. Click on 3D View and then 3D View Global. Set the following three components to match 3D Studio Max navigation shortcut. Click on the System tab. Select CUDA if you have a graphic card and would like the renderer to make use of it. Click Save User Settings and close the dialog. Click on the small plus icon right here. Set the lens to 15mm because that's the closest match to the human eye. Now click on the edge of the panel and drag it back to the right to hide it. Finally, click on File, Save Startup File to save this as the default startup setting. You may click Alt W to see the port view. Now if you're to loosen up a little, the resemblance will start to make you feel a little bit more at home. You may now play around with Blender. All the setting up that you have been doing have effectively made Blender a little bit more approachable for you as a 3D Studio Max user. Alright, that's it for this video. Let me know what are the most immediate things you do in Max that you like to know the Blender equivalent of. This is Brace with Jack. See you in the next episode. No matter how advanced Blender become, the question remains, would it blend? <laughs>